Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here with the Singer 114W103. I have set this machine to be able to cope with leather. Now I'm using a relatively thick leather which is one and a half millimeter but today I've by special request been asked to do a three millimeter. Here I have my caliper and you'll see I've got approximately 2.8 millimeter which is really thick considering this is going to be used for boots not for saddles as such. Here I've got it set on chain stitch using nipple number five, needle number five and tex 15 thread. As I've said I've doubled up genuine leather two pieces to run at the same time. Now I'm going to show how to do the adjustment needed in order to cope with the leather. Naturally you're going to have your needle set higher than you normally would. But what you'll notice is I have a relatively large gap under the foot even when the foot is down. To make the adjustment of foot pressure it's not via the back screw but as follows. This screw here needs to be loosened off like so, not too much. Then you'll need a longer screwdriver at least this length, maybe even longer, to get in on the side of this screw here which is actually not a screw. It is off-centered. What you'll notice while I'm turning this is the foot starts to lower. Now you'd slip in your ideal alternative fabric. Let's say for example I've got a scrap of felt here. We're going to put the foot down on it and when it stops moving around that's when we know we have it right. Exactly the same we need to do is the height adjustment when we go back to leather. If we leave that amount of pressure on the leather, you will get teeth marks. So we need to raise the foot. Now it's too high. Bring it back down till it's just enough to grip your leather and retighten the screw here on the front. Now we have exactly the same scenario for the nipple pressure, except this is the foot pressure on the front which reacts to the back foot. Now we've got to come forward. It's the one, I'll tighten that nicely, on the back here. You will find the same scenario is built into the machine on the back. This is our not actual screw, which is off-centered. And the real screw is delved in to the face of the machine back here. Loosen off this screw, turn this one here, using the long screwdriver until your nipple pressure is tight. To do that test, remove the needle bar from the machine and activate the machine so the nipple is touching your desired fabric or leather. And make sure 
that when the nipple is down, that it's holding your fabric in place. And again, tighten up your screw at the back. It's that simple. Enjoy.